What if Yawn was in Gen 1 OU? Now, I can understand the appeal, or at least the interest for this move. Everyone knows how good uh, sleep mechanics are in Gen 1. And for those of you who know about tradebacks, I believe Snorlax gets a lovely kiss because of that. And with that, Snorlax actually surpasses Tauros as the best Pokemon in Gen 1. So would Yawn be able to help it? Or at the very least, make it at least somewhat comparable to how strong Snorlax is in tradebacks? Eh. I'm gonna say probably not. Now the move itself is sorta interesting. It works the same way with any generation. The Pokemon gets drowsy, and then you have to switch out, otherwise the Pokemon gets put to sleep. I can understand where they're going from, or where they're going with it. However, in execution, both Snorlax and Swellbro, I just don't see actually making much use of the move. Swellbro would very much rather use Thunder Wave, along with Amnesia and Surf. Using Yawn just switches the Pokemon out, which doesn't really change that much. I know you're saying, okay, but you can keep just using Yawn repeatedly, and then they have to just keep switching. And while that's technically true, not only can they just keep switching until you run out of power points, just turning it into a giant guessing game, which would even be, like, in your favor. Not only that, but also, there's other statuses in the game, and one of the most popular status Pokemon is a Paralyzed Chansey. So, in reality, if you put Yawn on your Snorlax or your Swobro, all you're really doing is just giving Chansey a free switch in. So in reality, it does very little. Swellbro flat out can't just use it on any movesets. And while I'm sure you might be able to have a moveset where you can, like, put Yawn on your Snorlax, it's just not worth it. It's not really going to help you that much. There's much better moves Snorlax can be using. So, sorry if that's a bit of a disappointment, but that's just how it is. At least for those two. As you can see, there's some other Pokemon that were in Yawn, like Jolteon, Vaporeon, Blastoise, Kangaskhan. And these Pokemon are much more interesting, especially Jolteon, because with Yawn, it now technically becomes the fastest uh, sleep setter in the game. Which, honestly, like, I still don't know how good it would actually be. Definitely interesting. I still think rest is very valuable for this for going against Zapdos. However, having Yaunt does make it very interesting. It actually helps you go up against Rhydon a lot more. Because now, if you have a Jolteon out, Rhydon can't exactly safely switch into Jolteon. Because if Jolteon uses Yawn, it can just switch into like a grass resistance or a physically bulky Pokemon, and suddenly Rhydon is not sleeping. So, honestly, maybe I just kind of they like, convince myself it would probably be better than um Rest, and even in the Zapdos mirror, putting Zapdos to sleep is also pretty um yeah that that can also be pretty good. Also, I just realized it would also make Jolteon the fastest uh, dual status user in the in the game, which also sounds like it would be pretty good, and also would just help Jolteon just in general stand out from Zapdos more. I would still argue Zapdos would be the better electric type, but Yawn would be a much needed buff. Unfortunately, I'm not very experienced with Gen One underuse or never use. But I would imagine that Yawn would be pretty good for these guys. Like, what else do you usually put on your Vaporeon? Like Surf, or Hydro Pump, Blizzard, maybe like Hyper Beam or Body Swam? I could see, I can see you using um, Yawn. Seems like it'd be pretty good. Especially with how bulky uh, Vaporeon is. 
and Kangaskhan, I would imagine it would be much more competition, since Kangaskhan does have a wide variety of moves. But if you use Yawn every once in a while, I can see that they're really put it off guard. And since Kangaskhan is as strong as it is, and has a lot of different options for like, you know, moves you can use, using Yawn and then getting a free Bondi Slam or Earthquake or whatever up, that sounds pretty useful. I unfortunately have even less um, knowledge with uh, Never Use. However, I would probably imagine that Blastoise getting a sweep move would be a big deal. Oh yeah, I just kind of remembered that sweep is banned from underuse. Okay, never mind. Uh, forget Kangaskhan or Vaporeon. It does not absolutely nothing unless you want to use them in OU for some reason. I do not know if sweep is banned and Never Use. If it is, also pretty useless, and the only Pokemon that might take advantage of Yawn would be uh, Jolteon. But if it is and never used, I'd imagine this would be a very really good buff. And I'm pretty sure Plus Place is already pretty good and never used. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Sorry for the uh, shorter video, and sorry for no replays, but I figured they weren't really needed for this video. Like, it seems like... It's pretty self-explanatory. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, this is Groundback, and I look forward to hearing from you.